It's December 2018 and I'm in the Kakum National Forest. This place would become my home for a month. And during this time here in this forest, I travel to different uh, forests associated to or connected to this one, including Misumago and Kruba. And most of my time was spent on these canopy walkways. Every day was an opportunity to understand the forest even more, its flora, its fauna. And as I researched, I also tried to understand how these canopy walkways were built. Um, very interesting. Maya and I got busy most time of the day, especially in the mornings, and I documented as much as I could. So we're just about approaching, um, getting into the waterfalls to show you different sights and sounds and hopefully do some amazing photography. And so come on guys, let's check this thing out. Um, let's see if we can see different plant species also here as we get into the, uh, as much as possible, try to be as quiet as we can. Yesterday, so as you can see, it's all misty and wet, a little bit sleepy, very moist. So, you know, we'll, we'll try and uh, be slow as we can. Very interesting to know that there's always some sort of a, a canopy. A shade that is being created up here in the forest. Great observation. Nothing big, but this is trace of water movement. So I suspect there's some water in that somewhere too. of everything in the forest yeah. to understand the forest also means that we have to observe pay attention um, because every day is an opportunity to be educated about um, the habitat that we 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 have the privilege of experiencing interesting these mushrooms these mushrooms seem to be growing everywhere in North Carolina we have a lot of them and I think I've captured quite a bit of these my mushrooms from different perspective and so it's very interesting to see the similar species growing from a, a mossy tree area um, over here um, very very typical very very typical There's a lot of them. You can see. Oh, this is just very beautiful mushrooms that we see in here. The relationship the mushrooms have with the fawns, the spores, totally phenomenal. The arrangement is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right? Unbelievable. One key, big piece of artwork. Look at it, very mossy, very original, you know, and it's just amazing, you know, it's just amazing what we find here, it's just morning, and these mushrooms just welcome us, phenomenal. 
Now, you know, there's a lot of things that you gotta be excited about. Mm. You know, nature has got a very interesting way of calmness. Um, it's therapeutic, you know, it's therapy. If we look at the very different things that can actually uh, heal us. There are lots of plant species here that are very healing. And um, each of these plants um, have been named by ancestors, you know. Um, ancestors have done a very good job naming the plants. And all of these plants have medicinal value and components. Um, some we know, some we don't know. But yeah, amazing stuff. As you can see, all over the place. Phenomenal stuff. Look at the tree relationship. Well, I figured that this would be a broken tree, but it's not. It's a very interesting tree arrangement, you know, crossing the path. We're gonna have to go under, but yeah. It's interesting, this tree formation that you see up here. Welcome to the wild, guys. Welcome to the wild. If you pay attention, I think we're getting very close to the creek. You can hear some water movement if you pay attention. So. But into the creek you can see surrounding and we're gonna try to change the main south of the creek the one we can find. We're here now, main south of the creek. Not too loud, but pretty okay. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff that we can do up here. Um, we'll just stay here, uh, appreciate the creek a little bit. Not sure where the truck is coming from. I see my going from. a little bit, you know, have a little bit of quiet time to spread my beard, you know, and uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoy um, our tour all the way here 
and um, it's been amazing. Um, uh, we'll keep we'll keep you updated. I'm bringing you a lot more stuff coming up. Until later, peace. Nature photographer pop. This canopy walkway was constructed for research purposes by two Canadians and six Ghanaians. And thankfully to these canopy walkways, um, you know, we're able to see the forest as much as we can um, from a higher elevation. Uh, this has an elevation of um, 40 feet above ground and it's 350 meters, you know, uh, along with eight platforms. Um, every day I discover something new, you know. Uh, one of the main highlights for me um, is the caption of sunrise and sunsets. I'm intrigued um, by and, and in awe, um, almost at the same time, by the, um, the rise of the sun, the beauty that it creates, the canvas that it creates. It's, it's a great experience. It was a Saturday morning, as usual, with Kinsley. I asked um, Kinsley if he could accompany me on this adventure of um, exploring other parts of the National Forest that we haven't explored. And I didn't really want to do this alone, but I was guided that there was a community within the forest that, you know, um, we could explore. I was curious to see life in these forests and how the people lived and so we ventured it. Yeah, we'll keep exploring this thing and we'll see what we can find. This thing right here was inside of me and I'm gonna show you where I don't know how it got in there but it's unbelievable. Wow. Oh I lost over here in some of the forest areas in Ghana, there are no trailheads, so you need a geolocator to <clears throat> be able to find where you're going, else you can be lost. And this is why I would not advise, uh, if you do not have a map, if you do not have a geolocator, it would really, it's not really advisable for you to be embarking on this journey alone, because um, when you get lost, you'll be on your own. But thankfully, um, there was two of us and so the journey was easy i won't lie to you it was easy and wasn't easy at the same time because we had to walk many many miles uh, after three hours of walking i was getting exhausted i was getting really tired but the fun bit was that you know there was a lot to uh, capture there were a lot of butterflies different plant species and so that really didn't um matter much because um my mind was was more glued into the excitement and the thrill of documenting than you know the tiredness bit of it. So we passed the primary forest, secondary forest. Now we're seeing a lot of human activity, palm uh, palm trees. So we know we are close to the neighboring village. Of, uh, you see the shed? Someone's shed is right here. I'm walking into this huge forest. We're coming, actually coming from the primary forest. We come to this little community of Pamwan Tapas and this amazing family hey, right here. Mm. They gave us corn to eat and a lot of palm wine to drink. And, and we're still on this journey. Oh. Right here. We got the palm wine from this thing. I'm a but I got this for the road, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, this amazing family right here. Uh, where's the, um, so, this is palm wine, guys. This is what it looks like for those that do not know. Look at that. Uh, this is magical. This Well, after so many uh, miles of walking, we finally arrive at the Jawari community, and I see a lot of opportunities, a lot of potentials here in this space. So doing about three miles of walk from Jawari to the next village, 